Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I've been just chilling on my yacht here as we kind of kick back. We got 55 million in the bank. It's just time to relax. And you notice a couple of things. Like, did this did this yacht always move with the waves? That always been a thing. I've never noticed that before. I mean, I haven't spent that much time on a boat, but um, yeah, it seems like I feel like I'm noticing that a little bit more. Not as much when I first logged in. I have been in and out here. Let's go inside. Maybe it's a little bit. That seems like a diff slightly different transition. There you go. Either kind of bobbling that camera around a little bit just to give you the feeling of being on a boat. Well, that's one thing I noticed. The other thing I noticed is, of course, that the DLC has dropped. There's lots of things on sale. We got all kinds of new cars going on. I'm not going to do a full review of the whole DLC. That's been done over and over and over again. I'm just going to talk about how it impacts me. First of all, garage space. There is some serious, you know, garage space available. Uh, not only on sale, but they've given us two more slots. So all that agonizing over, I won't have a place to put my cars, not really that big a deal. Especially when you've saved up $55 million. Now, I'm going to get the uh, the other... This is right near my other garage, so that's kind of convenient. For 85k. Wait a minute, there's only... It's only empty... There's only one empty space? That's where we had two empty spaces. Do I want to put that there? No, I'm not so sure. I thought that was it was going from six to eight. Now there's only he only shows one empty. All right, no, that's fine. There was one that was a little bit more attractive. I mean, that's useful because of where it was. This one, exceptionalist way. This is right next to uh, where actually the the Rusty Jack nightclub is. So it's just like, it's a good location. It's right off. It's easy to drive to. It's even cheaper. Purchase that property. Put that in an empty slot. Return to the map. Okay, so maybe it's, it was good that I did some reductions in 63,000. That's not a bad location. Where is that other one? Does it come up as another... If I were to buy this one... Oh, there is another slot, so it does bring you up to... Well, that's just, you know, a little bit misleading. Alright, so we have two more properties here. And we're going to be doing... Let's, let's, get, let's get styled back out here. Let that for CEO. Alright. And it's time to move some cars. What I'd like to do, actually I might even do a little bit more than move them. Let's do the time warp again. Now, the workshop arena here, the workshop arena. That's like a place, that's an arena where workshops go to fight. The arena workshops is the perfect place to upgrade new vehicles that you've gotten as part of a new DLC. Unless, of course, it's full. And all mine is, for the most part. For just one or two spaces of yellow. So, what we're going to do is, without running into the spinning blades, we're going to move some of these vehicles. Some of them are in here just waiting to be upgraded. And I think, looking at the DLC and in where we're at, money-wise, I think we, there's no longer a reason to hoard this money. We can actually do some things with it.
Uh, you know what? While we're at this, did they finally fix? No, I didn't fix that bug. Well, we'll see. We'll see if if this if, if it'll finally stay. Well, that will be great. Now, all these are arena war vehicles. You don't want to move an arena war vehicle because then you, you lose the naming convention. So the top floor is kind of taken up. Let's go to B1. I believe from there on out is where we'll actually see ways we can get some space. Now this car. Let's get creative. Bought this a while ago on some kind of sale. It looks terrible. Race brakes. Bumpers, front bumper. Oh, it's just chrome. Rear bumpers. It's, it's all just messed up. I don't know why we're. Get performance. Race exhaust. Chrome plated exhaust after that. Yeah, there you go. Hood. That looks just wrong. It's just this, is, this isn't the kind of car for that. I think let's go a tall cow. See, this is a cow induction. Let's do it a little bit low key for for that that livery. Badger forty two. Los Santos Knights. Let's put a number 42 on it for the heck of it. Where's respray? Respray primary. That's not bad. Secondary metallic what? Oh, there you go. Now you, there you can get your chrome. And get some chrome bumpers on this thing. And the rest of it's part of the whatchamacallit I take. I don't know if here. Let's go if we go to back to library and change that up. There you go. It's just a solid blue now. Crew blue. You kinda go the whole Spartanian look there, but we're just gonna stick with what we got. Spoiler, of course we need one. The low level works from a you know, aesthetical point, but it doesn't really match the style of the thing here. Lip spoiler. Drift wing. Eh. Painted pro touring. I think, I think that works. For right now. You can always change it. Transmission. Rev it up. Turbo. Rev it up. Wheels. Um, tires. Tire enhancements. Bulletproof. For right now, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Windows done. Exit the arena. We have another new garage, and it's right around the corner. See, this is why I selected this one. Oh, there's an, interest, uh, an interesting change. They've changed all of the phone calls from LJT to texts. Thank you. Thank you. The last thing we need is more and more LJT. Oh. Bad news. Don't get me wrong. The voice acting was great. Better than my driving. But we've all heard it. We've all heard it over and over and over over and over and over and now that'll be a little less intrusive less intrusive i'm sure i'm sure you, i'm sure you will still get to hear ljt's voice as clear as i can talk here now is this the exact same building yeah all right 
I like that location. This is going to be good. Let's pull in some other cars. All right, that should that should give us some room. Got some kind of livery racers over here. My chrome. You know, these are my kind of my neon tetra fish cars over. Hey man, I, I don't remember having black wheels on this. This thing, have, this thing didn't have black wheels, did it? Ah, I have to look that up. All right. I think we can still do a little bit better. And there we go. Now that should leave more than enough room over at the arena workshops to, to get some new cars. As you can see, this is that parking garage right here where that one mission is for, for gun running. And it is catty corner to my other garage, which is up the road this way. Which I'm running to because I don't even remember what's in it exactly. I'm going to run. That's the old penumbra. There is a new penumbra. I'm not partaking of that just yet. I have plans. What's in here? Oh yes, these are some standard wonderful cars too. Okay. But what we're gonna do, he will take out the, uh, first of all, everything insured, 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 not insured, and we have to fix that. How did this get past my last, uh, my last insurance check, which I do periodically? Where it is, I know it's right by here. There it is. Try on the. Just fading in on the radar now. Yeah, we can turn this into a Sasquatch, but it's one of those rare, rare fine paint job deals, I think. Let's grab this off the road. We're gonna leave that as it is, but we are gonna insure it. Come on. Today. There you go. Now, before, before I take the incredible advantage, I should have gone that way. Of this wonderful kind of thing we get, we've got going on here, with having so much more parking, let's demonstrate this. There's vehicles. Vehicles. Bye bye. Back in the garage. And now let me test something really quick. Jobs. No, I don't want to exit. No. 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 Stop it. Yeah. That's late in the day. Play job. Rockstar created. Stunt races. Let's do. Let's do Shillian. It's quick. I just want to test something. Shillian. Confirm settings. According to the patch notes, they've changed the way that you can start the race. Yeah, let's go with this one. Change of pace, Fury. Normally what I do is my standard rev, 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 rev. And then nail the go button. No, they've changed it. Now you've watched a lot of my races. How many people do you see using that technique? How many people do you see fervently tapping the accelerator 
to make sure that they can hit the go just at the go point. Although I'm mostly doing it to can't keep the revs up because I know the standard turbo extra boost method is to get the rev hold the engine on revs, then lift right before go, then tap on go. Well, you still have some RPM. And I was just doing the same thing, basically trying to keep as much RPM in the motor as I could. But now they've changed it, so you, you have to stay off the accelerator and just hit it at the moment it says go to get the, the extra boost. And I, like I said, I've never seen anybody else doing that. I assume somebody else is doing it because I don't think I garner enough attention to warrant a patch. But it feels that way. I mean, it feels like they've patched out the Black Knight Super Launch Method, which I always thought was extremely effective. I thought it was more effective than anything I've ever seen anybody else doing on that many videos or anything else like that. I guess uh, I guess it was pretty effective. So there's that. So I'm gonna have to adjust my driving style a little bit in races. Just to go kick 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 can't do that anymore. I, and I always liked the kind of the way it was. Everyone else is just beeping their horns. Beep. Beep. I'm going bum 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 like I'm just really ready to go. If you touch that accelerator even a little bit, I think it disables the, the turbo boost. That's a shame. I don't see the point of that, really. It was a technique. Whee! Whee! There's a few other things I'm, I'm looking forward to. They're supposed to have made the... Uh, the game more stable. So will it crash as often for me? I mean, well, that could still be my hardware. It might not have been the game, but still. Every little bit helps, right? Watch the game freeze while I'm in midair, and then you can all go, ha 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 ha, because it's, it would be genuinely funny. And, you know, it did, did skip there. There was a little bit of video lag as I hit the finish line. Now there is really only one car, and this is something I've picked up from the Bruffy 1322 himself. That is probably a must get. There's a lot with style. There's one that makes no sense. And there's the fast one. Yeah, really, I guess I'm going to have to try to do some of the adversary modes, just to... I think there might be something you unlock if you do them all. It's either that or on the boat. I don't remember which. It seems like they're trying to get you to try it. Try it! Try it out! And they always do that, and that's fine. A boom, boom, boom. Thump. Always was an awkward uh, placement here. There is only one, um, well, you know what, let's do the time warp again. Okay, we're back. Don't pull in, don't pull in, don't pull in. All right. I'm going to move this one. E, let's take it down to B1. There's be more than enough room in B1. The only car on B2 is the, I want to say, the Drift Tampa, which is awaiting a paint job at some point. Okay, we've got some stuff here that we're still working on, some stuff that we're not. Get room. So according to Bruffy, the car that is most likely, and it hasn't been officially tested yet, but it's very likely the new fastest compact is a very expensive BF Club. I don't know what I'm going to do to paint this. I'm going to trick it out, but we're going to try and get a feel for it for right now. What was the description on this? The BF Club is back on the market, so pull on your platform, slam the pedal, 
Now let the psychedelic mix of flashy liveries, insane speed, and economic hardship mash your mind back to the 1770s. It's the closest you'll get to time travel. All right. I think we could all use some time travel back to the 1970s. And while we wait for that to load, let's let's do up another car here. Now I've I've got semi plans here. We have to first of all, is there anything we can do with the roof? No, we can't do like a vinyl semi vinyl roof on this. That would be good. How about exhaust? Dual exit exhaust. We can't give zoomies on it. I'm having a tough time matching this up with a, uh, a matchbox that I used to have as a child, but we're, we're going to just work with it here. Hood, rim air, da, da, da. vented hood, no. Bet you nobody uses that one. Okay, we'll do that. I guess we can at least match up the paint a little bit. It's another one of those sparkly green cars. Why is it like green? Especially as a child. What if we did gold, green over gold? Racing green, where's this bright green? Bright green, or maybe even, yeah. But do yellow with a pearlescent of some kind of green over there. I think the dew yellow is a little too dominant for what I wanted to do. Or it's just plain green. The olive with the... Eh. Let's go bright green, pearlescent. Something really bright. It was a bright the green. I think that's good. Spoiler. You need one. Suspension, keep it. Terrible. We'll have to go through everything from the top down just because wheels, wheel type. Well, we can look at the street, uh, the new street wheels. Cup champion. Yeah. I think I know the ones that I want. Those muscle freaks. Tires, tire design, customs, tire enhancements, blah blah blah. Windows, armor it up. Brakes. Engine. And that'll have to do. Now, somewhere by now, we should have what should be the fastest compact car. The club. Armor it up. Bodywork. Okay. 
do we really want to go real wild with carbon trunk and eh, eh. let's just get it so it can run not worrying about anything exhaust maybe is there a shokatan exhaust on this that was like a whole bunch of exhaust and all basically is a pipe coming out the back there Glass pipes are the closest you can get to the Shokatan. No. Fenders, half covers, full covers. Oh, no. Delivery. That, that is a very, very 70s kind of look to the whole thing. That makes little sense. It looks like it's chewing the tire. Okay. I, I get it, though. I, th I think just for the short term... Well, did we freeze? Uh, I forgot that we froze. I'll do Stripes Retro. The roof. The Mobile Rave Station. That's hilarious, but I just can't. Okay, let's just... Spoiler. Plastic Roof Wing. There you go. Do we really need anything else other than a plastic roof ring? Whoa, that... Wow, that's a sun strip. Just a regular sunstrip, okay? That's although you know, you really can't, can't see that well, I guess. Ooh, now, do we need to slam this? Does it need to be slammed to get the good handling? I'll have to wait for Bruffy on that. I'll leave it stock for right now and then we'll see. Wheels, wheel type. I'm gonna go off road like the classic kind of thing it is, you know. Put some mini raiders on. Look, they're so cute. Tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof. So this 1.2 million dollar Golf. Let's see how does it feel. I don't know. Does it feel quicker than a Conjo? Quicker than a Brioso? Maybe. Well, there's a way to figure that out. Let's go to splits. Let's give splits a shot. That'll be the last thing I do in this video. Are we even recording? Yes, we are. Okay, we're still recording. We're going to do, let's do two laps, if I can have a, yeah, let's see, can we get to the, uh, I mean, what the, no, this is the wrong car. No, no, I'm not running a baseline on this. I've done, I've got videos on this. Okay. 
How do I get it? Online. Do we do it from here? There you go. Cancel this job. Okay, let's do the time warp again while I look something up. Okay, let me just try to make sure. Vehicle confirmed. Continue. Now, I looked up my old video. I did the last time. I did the best compact for splits. And the Blitz Conjo was pulling down for me a 148-ish time. Oh, I did the launch wrong again. That's okay, this wasn't going to be the fastest lap anyway. See, that's going to be hard for me to break. Now that they've, they've changed the way you launch, where if you do the, if you rev the engine up first, you don't get the boost. That's just really annoying. At any rate, I was pulling a 148 something in the uh, Blista Conjo. Can this do better? Probably not in the first run, because first of all, I've got to get used to the car. That was very stable. There's no sliding out of the tushy of the car. Oh wow. Now the, the handling on this is impressive. There's no, there's no slippy, slidey, dirty, farty kind of, no, this is... This is like the anti-bureau Barossa. I cannot talk tonight. Oh, here's the first mistake with it. The anti Brioso. You ever have a night like that where you're just not talking? It's hot. Hot in the room. Maybe my brain's yellowed. I don't know. It's... So I did make a mistake on that lap. So it's... this is just, we're going to try and get a rough estimate here. I want to say it doesn't feel, it feels very controlled. I don't know that it feels fast. Yeah, we're already, because of that one mistake, I know we're off on, I'm not going to pull on a 148 run on this one. Two mistakes, actually, because I didn't start it right. Wow. It's very controlled, though. Okay, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to race face this one. I'm going to go completely quiet. How fast can I make it go? Wow. Breffy, I got a hand to you. You got a good feel for these things. In that last video, I was really pushing every car as hard as I could. This wasn't a lot of work. And look at this best lap. 143. That's five seconds faster than my best in the Blista Conjo.
That's nice. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna I'm gonna give another free plug to Bruffy here. Check out uh, Bruffy1322 for all the latest in vehicle testing. Check out GTA Men and the Professional for all aspects of this game. In addition to that, I mean, really, they're just that's the trifecta for me. It really is. A little bit of sunny Evans thrown in there from time to time, but. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. We're going to continue to have fun with this DLC. But for right now, have a great night. If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run. This is your captain speaking. Captain Brendan Darcy? You know, on your enormous super yacht? You do remember you've got a yacht, right? Well, anyway, look, I don't mean to gripe, but things have been getting pretty hectic on board of late. Thought you might want to swing by, see what it's like to sit in the captain's seat. Seriously, hope to see you soon. <laughs>